Right, uh, problem 2.31. So for the circuit in the figure, determine I1 to I5. All right, um, if we are first first uh, presented the uh, circuit like this and we saw, okay, um, there is a voltage source and the resistance, right? There are two parallel uh, resistant resistors and combined in a series with the other one, with the 3 ohm. So it is best to find the equivalent uh, resistance of the entire circuit and use the voltage, use the, you know, and then use the Ohm's law to find out the uh, current. And in that case, the current would be I want, right? So let's get started and find the resistance equivalent, equivalent resistance, which is 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2. That is going to give us uh, 3 over 2. 1 over that would give us the resistance the, of that parallel, right? Which is going to be 2 over 3. Okay, so 3 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Do you see what I did here? Is well, 1 over R again, right? Plus another 1 over R. All right, and in this case, it will give us 7. So, yes, uh, 7 over 4. And one over that, it will give us um, four over seven, and um, plus three ohms, um, because they are now in series, correct? So three is thirty, uh, twenty-one over seven, twenty-one plus four, twenty-five over seven, and that is the resistance. Okay, and now we use the Ohm's law. Uh, 200 volts divided by um, 25 over 7 ohm, which is equivalent of uh, times the reciprocal, which is 7 times 7 over 25. And uh, so there are four, four 25s in 100, and so it's going to be 8. And 8 times 7, it will give us 56 ohm. I mean, sorry, uh, ampere which is, uh, this is also I1, okay? I think this is uh, straightforward for you guys. Uh, if you're having a problem or trouble getting to this step, I'm a little worried. Uh, I simply just simplified the parallel uh, resistors and find and then add it in the series, which is to find the equivalent resistance. And then we use <clears throat> the Ohm's law, 200 volts divided by the equivalent resistance and give us the volt current, right, which is I1. And now is where things get a little tricky. I1 uh, is here, and as we know, the uh, Khrushchev current law, that this is being divided uh, into two, two uh, there's one node divided into two wires, right? So the I3 and I2, when you add them together, they will give you I1, right? So that is the first relationship we should develop uh, before we go on uh, to anything else. And the next thing is to, how we determine by it is by the proportion of the resistance, of the total resistance within that circuit. What that means is, let me give you a little analogy, right? So for example, here's a, uh, a road and here's stairs, right? So this stairs has 25, 25 stairs, and this one and just has more, and this one has 75 stairs. And let me ask you, if there are 100 people trying to get past, uh, and both of these stairs leads to the final destination or a gate or whatnot, right, the exit, how, there are 100 people passing by how many people do you think is going to pass through this one? And how many people is going to pass through the 75 stairs uh, pathway? Now, if if we treat instead of people, in this case, we are going to use electrons. And we assume electrons does not have brains, right? They do not get affected, affected by emotions or tiredness and whatnot. They would just go due to the difficulties or the easiness of these two paths. Therefore, theoretically, 
Oh, well, statistically speaking, 75 electrons are going to walk through this one, and 25 electrons are going to walk through the 75 stairs, right? Because it is longer, more difficult, and this one is easier, so more electrons are going to do the easier one. And we're just going to use the proper uh, proportion, so which is, this is 25 and 75. Add them together, which is 100 stairs, and 25 is so you see the difficulty is 25% of the entire difficulties of these two stairs. So therefore, more people uh, should pass through this. Therefore, and sorry, let's just use the other one, 75 over 100, that's 0.75% uh, percent of the difficulties. So 0.75 is about, uh, tw it's twice, I mean, three times uh, difficulties of this, right? So this would be 1 over 4, and this would be 3 over 4, right? So three times bigger. Therefore, this should have three more times of the population going through than this one, right? So three, sorry, 3 over 4 of the electrons are going to pass through this one, and 1 over 4 of the population of the electrons are going to pass through the more difficult one. And mathematically speaking, we can just say... Uh, the total electrons times the difficulties, but one minus the difficulties, right? Because so 75, so it would be one minus would be 25 over 100, which is 25 electrons are going to pass through the more difficult ones. Yes, because the more difficult, the less electrons wants to pass there, right? Okay, so now we use this analogy and we apply it over here into the circuit. So we know that the I1 is 56 ampere, and what is ampere? Ampere is the amount of charge passed through a specific point within a wire, uh, with at a specific time, right? So 56 ampere means 56 charges of electrons are going to pass through this knot. However, it will get divided. So 56 charges just treated as you know 100 electrons, so 56 electrons, right? And here is 4 ohms, and here is uh, 2 over 3, which is uh, 0.66 uh, ohms, right? So 4 over uh, 4 plus 0.66, or 6, goes on forever. And 1 minus this times 56, right? And, you know, the 56 is the total charge, and 1 minus that means the more difficult, or the, the less of the difficult, um, that is the more, uh, so sorry, so 4 is bigger because the more difficult, so 1 over that would decrease the amount of electrons is going to pass there. So in the end, it should give you 8 ampere if you do the mathematics correctly, which makes sense, right? Because the other one, uh, what does the other one give you? The other one, which is 56 ampere times 1 minus uh, 0 0.66 over 4.66, right? And that is going to give you uh, a 48 ampere, right? Which makes sense because it is easier, right? Less resistance, therefore more ampere, more charges are going to pass through the one with less resistance, right? The more resistance, less of the current. And we're going to, as we said before, we're going to use the proper pr proportion Right, so four over this, which is the difficulty, and one minus that, which is the amount of charges is going to pass through. Right, because it's all about the total proportion. Okay, so 48, and so we now know that this is going to this way, which is I2. Right, four ohms is very a lot bigger than 0 0.6 ohms, so therefore, okay, uh, it makes sense logically that. 8 ampere is going to pass through the more resistor, the, the resistor has more resistance, and 48 ohms is going to pass the resistor with less ohms, right, which is 2 over 3 ohms, which is I3 over here. And now we'll find out I2, we'll find out I1, I3, now it's time to find I4 and I2. Using the same analogy from uh, developed over here, which is 48 A times 1 over uh, 1 over 3. Yes, the 1 ampere, uh, 1 ohms is, uh, and this is 1 plus 2, right? We simplified it into 3, and therefore it's 2 over 3, and in that case, uh, it would be, 
sorry, uh, three, so it would be one, six, and so two of those is going to give you 32 ampere, right? And 48 ampere times one over two over three ampere, that is going to give us, or you can just say 48 minus 32, right? It is the same thing, yes? But despite uh, the mathematic different math mathematic approach, in the end, you should all get the same answer, which is uh, 16, right? 48 minus 32 is also 16, so 16 ampere. So this is going to the uh, two, uh, uh, two, sorry, one ohm resistor, uh, which is I4, and this is going to the I5 resistor, which is, I mean, sorry, uh, two ohms resistor, which is I5, right? Okay, and uh, this is how you solve the problem over here. So I2, I3, I4, I5, and I1, we found it, which is 56 ohms. Okay, so this question requires your understanding of Christoph current law, Christoph current distribution law, and res uh, finding the resistance of equivalent resistance of parallel and a series, and the Ohm's law, right? It's a combination of quite a few laws so therefore it's a little challenging than the regular questions uh, which only probably test you on uh, two to three knowledge points right so uh, thank you for suggesting me doing this problem i actually developed this analogy this here over here because it's actually harder right to develop something that initially i was going to a wall but it's a little hard to understand and then was going to the the, the width of the wire, but then, you know, the bigger the wire, the more charges, which is, I have to say, you know, it has to be, the bigger the number, the smaller the charges is going to pass through. And stairs is the one that I came up, uh, fits this current situation the most, right? Current situation, uh, puns intended. Anyway, uh, so yeah, hopefully this video is worth quite thorough. And if you have more questions, just leave a comment down below. And uh, hopefully, uh, I'll see you in the future. Good luck in your studies. All right. Bye.